So, the guy that sold me this webcam cut me such a deal, man. It, it was half price. It only cost me one potato instead of two potatoes. It was, oh, hell of a deal. Anyways, uh, I'm sorry about the webcam quality. Uh, whenever I have quality like this, it means that I'm recording from my retail cart, which means that I've played something live. This being the case, and given the date on your calendar, uh, usually the first Monday of every uh of every month i'm gonna have a tournament battle from the standard tournament that i go to every month that takes place on the or the second monday i kind of want to say well yeah something like that the monday after the first saturday of the month is uh when the standard tournament that's in my area ends up taking place so i tossed together a team once upon a time and by once upon a time i mean that morning and it got like maybe two three matches on PO is you know this ended up being the final build I didn't have too many problems with it through throughout the tournament but there wasn't a lot of people that showed up so we just ended up doing round robin between all of us at the end it was me and a guy by the name of Teddy that got to the end and hadn't had any losses so whoever lost this one or whoever won this one uh, it was winner take all because of the amount of you know people that were in the tournament overall but let me tell you something about Teddy Teddy likes to ver he's the type to say something after every turn whether or not it's necessary uh, usually when I'm talking to people when I'm battling I'm just like oh sorry about the crit or like oh I didn't expect that to live just little exclamations like that but he will just say oh blah 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 like why'd you do that like all the sass that comes in when like you're fighting important trainers in black and white he's like one of those like when the trainer comes in next to the Pokemon it's like oh so you went for that move he's like that but every turn and on top of that, the thing that makes it worse is that I lost to him two months ago at a at one of the same standard tournaments. Because the motherfucker had a T-Tart and a special defensive chlorophyll Venusaur with Sunbeam, which is some serious anti-weather shit. I don't know if he was just being weird or what, but it worked, and I, I'm mad. I'm mad. I got mad. <laughs> and uh, I didn't even get to get my revenge last month because I believe it was Heather and somebody else that knocked him out because normally the tournament's a double elimination. So he happened to be, I believe, one of my first losses. Or maybe it was single at the time. I really don't remember. But he was one of them. I was like, what the shit, dude? That's... Oh, no, it was double elimination. I remember who I lost to. I kind of deserved that other loss. This one was just fucking weird. But I haven't had the chance for revenge until like now so naturally it's been festering every time i see this guy at the tournament i'm just like someone has to take him out i don't care i just don't like the way he sasses people during tournaments and because it's round robin it's winner take all in this last round revenge is sweet I hope you guys got a good look at the team preview because uh, we didn't even have one. So uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and change it up slightly. The entire time I had been leading off with Scarf Thunderous to bait out the ground types if there were any. Skate out. Sc skate out. Scout out what their switch-ins are going to be to Thunderous and try to take them out so I can sweep with Scarf Thunder later in the match. You know, try to bait them out, that kind of thing. But I lead off with this thing because I still think he's going to have T-Tar with him. Uh, he primarily plays Smash, so I don't expect him to be 100% updated on the meta uh, because of that i don't expect him to have a chopal on his t-tart if he does have it uh i think he had lefties last time so i can just take it out flat it's not even a concern to me but it turns out he has an a's elf uh the protect seemed like it was out of nowhere but i heard somebody yelling out during like round two or round three oh that's with normal gem and given that i didn't see anything else in the tournament that looked like it would have a normal gem i assume normal gem explosion so that's why i go ahead and protect on that Turns out he just tries to double U-turn right here. I don't take too much from the U-turn. I take a little bit more than I would have liked to, but that should be an indicator. This and on the next turn should definitely tip you guys out that I am a special defensive toad instead of a physically defensive one. So I'm able to take a life from Starmie's T-Bolt. I was mainly staying in trying to go for the uh or trying to go for the Skull to get the burn, because Life Orb and Burn would have, you know, definitely taken its toll on this thing. But uh, I don't get Scald Burns on either one, which is a little unfortunate, but it's not something to really be aiming for, and it's going to come back to me, I guess, you know, in the future. So... I go out and do this thing. I stayed in with Politoed because I thought, oh, this thing's going to be obvious. And I remember fucking smack myself right in the forehead. There's no team preview. He probably doesn't even think I have one. So he was kind of sassing me in person at this point. He's like, oh, it's with the new Thunderous form, that kind of thing. And it was like, oh, this thing's slower than me. And I was like, yeah, it is. And I end up outspeeding him, killing him off. And he didn't let me finish my sentence. I finish it after he dies. And I'm just like with a choice scarf or unless it has a choice scarf that kind of shit so naturally he's kind of sour right now <laughs> i'm fucking grinning like a motherfucker but he brings in kieran black i do have a scissor on this team so i'm not even worried about it at all but what i wanted to do right here is i thought he was choiced because i'm not seeing uh life of recoil i'm not seeing or 
Because I didn't see Life or Recall, that's the first thing I jumped to. He easily could have been Lefties, or he could have been Expert Belt even. But that doesn't look like Expert Belt damage. I thought he was when the instant he went for HP Fire, but looking at the damage, he's not. There's no fucking way. That probably would have taken me out. So, I end up getting Stealth Rocks up right here, which I kind of want to say is really huge, as opposed to me going for anything else. But, I go into my Politoed at this point. I, it's kind of silly to sack your weather thing right here, but looking at the rest of his team, it either looks like A, he doesn't have a weather, or he doesn't have T-Tar, or B, he doesn't have a weather. So, I figure, you know what, I'll just leave it and die if he does have a weather, you know, I'll shoot myself in the foot, but I think I can manage otherwise. So, I go into my scissor. I wanted the safe switch in because I knew that he had HP fire. Uh, because the rain is up, blah, 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 and looking at Fortress's special defense, I can probably take it around as good, if not better. So it's fine by me if I end up getting hit with an HP fire. As you see, it only does around, what was that, like 90, 90 HP. I'll die to the next one, but that's not to say that I'm going to die before he... That's not to say he's even going to be able to get it off because, you know, this is priority and shit. Teddy, horrible fucking move on your behalf on this one. Switching in the Volcarona, I guess he forgot I had rocks up and was mainly just aiming to get the resistance. But the Hex God has decided to say, you don't get Scald Burns, you won't get Flame Body Burns. Which I'm like, oh, thank you, I really appreciate that solid. That was nice. So... Because I'm not burned, it also lets me get some good damage off on Conkelder. I'm not worried about Kiram knowing that it is uh, Scarf now. Or, or worried that it would be Scarfed or anything like that if it would be... It, it's had a low amount of HP and it'll die to rocks on the switch in anyway. Uh, if he brings in a spinner, I'll act accordingly. But uh, other than that, I think I'm okay. So... Conkelder's gonna do its thing, take me out, whatever. It's got a flame orb. The thing is, is I still have Birdnatus. I'm not even worried about it. Just gonna take him out with a hurricane. And uh, he didn't even try going for a mock punch or anything like that. I don't even know if he had it. But uh, I guess he kind of thought it was in vain. Just kind of tried to leave it in his death fodder. So, but the thing is, is that now that my Scizor died, he has an opening to bring in Terrakion. Now, I... This could have been really risky if he didn't have an air balloon, but because he has an air balloon, it's an automatic tip off that uh, he's slower than me. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the U-turn, pop the balloon, and go out into something else's death fodder. You know, that's normally how I would play that. It seems like a pretty safe thing to do. He's probably, you know, just gonna end up going for the Stone Edge. I kind of think he's been playing very basic, and he pulls Sub out the bag. So it was kind of one of those moments where your asshole just kind of puckers up in fear. I'm sorry if that's kind of out of the blue, but I definitely had one of those moments because he subs. If he rock polished, that line of thinking would have continued and I probably would have been in trouble. But uh, it turns out he subs Swords Dance. And I have kind of a Volt Tourney team, so I can just, you know, keep repeating that process. You guys are going to see where this is going. But uh, because he's already gone for his attack that turn, I can go out into my Thunderous. I know that I am faster than this thing, you know, by a pretty reasonable margin. He probably didn't expect me to have Volt Switch on this thing on top of Thunder, which is what's going to let me break the sub, go out to something else's Death Fodder, because he more than likely ended up taking the bait on that one and tried to kill me off of the Stone Edge, that kind of thing. And now Terrakian is at the range where I know that Birdnatus is going to be able to take it out with a Hurricane, or, you know, my Thunderous, if I bring it in on this next turn, is going to be able to take it out with a Thunder. So, he's got his whole posse of Smash people that just kind of come around from time to time between brackets. Hey, Teddy, how's it going? Are you winning? You know, that kind of stuff. They just kind of rile him up as his little gang there and stuff. It's his home turf. So, uh, it's kind of at the point right here where he's like, yeah, I think you won. And I was like, sorry, what? You know, I wasn't, I wasn't even giving him the time of day, but it turns out that I did win. So, I, and he didn't have any resists for Thunderous other than that Kiram, and it just ends up dying to South Rocks anyway. So it didn't look like he had any resist to Thunderous in the first place. So Scarf Thunder is actually going to clean up the rest of his team. And uh, because it is winner take all, it was at this moment that I turned to the tournament coordinator, which happens to be Chaz, who I think watches my videos. And I was like, Chaz, pay up. Skills to pay the bills. And uh, it was a funny thing because we ended up going to a restaurant afterwards. Basically, everyone else but Teddy because he was still in the uh, the smash pool. I wouldn't have invited him anyway. But we go there and uh, we're eating. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use his entry fee to upgrade my burger. So revenge literally was sweet hickory barbecue burger. And it was really good. <laughs> Anyways, that is the story of my Saturday. Oh, man. I finally... Finally got him back for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a pretty straightforward match, I kind of want to say. But uh, that's the thing. So if you did, you're more than like welcome to leave a like rating, comment, and subscribe, and do your thing. As I mentioned before, webcam quality only happens when I play on my retail cart in real life. So there's more than likely just going to be a story attached to it. And uh, 
that kind of thing. So if you guys like these things, let me know, and I'll try to play people in person more often. Uh, otherwise, that's it. That's all I got to talk about. And uh, I'm thinking about streaming on Wednesday or Thursday and or potentially because I do have some days off this week. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, uh, what is today? Today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, one of those two days. We'll see. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.